Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hello everyone, I hope that I'm live right now. <coughs> if you guys are able to listen me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know guys. Everything is fine, no issues with the audio or the video, right guys? Good evening everyone, good evening, good evening, how was your day? Good evening everyone, how was your day guys? Good, great, awesome, okay. Today is Sunday, very few people uh, turned up on the Sunday. Wow. <laughs> but Sunday is a holiday for everybody. Placements when you prepare for placements, no day is a holiday. Every day is a placement preparation day itself. Okay? Make sure that you guys are actually preparing for your placements. Placements are not like that before, that you will have to read a little bit. That is not the case right now. You have to be the best to get a good placement. And companies don't care whether you are studying BCA, MCA, you are studying BBA, you are studying Commerce, you are studying B.Tech, you are studying Civil, Chemical, Mechanical. Now it's not that you only have to study CSE to get a placement. Nah. And even if you are studying placement, you will still remain unplaced because college is not going to teach you anything for your placements. Everything you will have to do it on your own. Please do remember that. For getting an internship or a placement as well. There is no contribution from the end of the college. Always remember this. Until unless you are from a very good college, then the thing is actually a little bit different. Still, from an education standpoint, a good college, if even if you are in IIT Bombay, they are not going to teach you anything for getting an internship or a placement. You still have to learn it on, on your own itself. Huh. When you are from a good college, you get good opportunities. Opportunities are provided by your college itself. Companies go later, internships, it will bring uh, companies for placements itself. So that is just opportunities that you are able to get by getting into a good college. That's it. Everything else from preparing for the exam, preparing for the interview, you still have to do it on your own itself. So always remember this, guys. Okay. Okay. So shall we do a quick revision about what we have studied in our yesterday's class? Shall, you, uh, shall we do a quick revision, guys, about what we have studied in our yesterday's class? Do let me know, guys, what are the different things that we have studied in our yesterday's class. In yesterday's class, we have studied a lot. In yesterday's class, we have studied a lot, guys. So what have we studied in our yesterday's class, guys? You let me know. So we started out with get commands. What are the different get commands that we learned off in our yesterday's class? Do let me know, guys. Get in it, okay. That is to create a particular instance of get inside of a particular project. That's very good. Command uh, common uh, commands, okay. CMD common commands, good. RM minus RF. There should be a little bit of difference. So that is basically to delete a particular file. Good. PWD. It is present working directory, not CWD. Okay. Uh, get config. Get in it. Good. Get status. Get add. Get commit. Okay. Great guys. Uh, anything else? LS, CD, good. Uh, okay, MKDIR to create a particular folder. That is a directory. Touch to create a file, good. Okay, uh, we studied about get log, great. Get reset, good. Okay, uh, what else have we studied, guys, in our yesterday's class? Cat, very awesome to look into a particular uh, file. What is present in that particular file? We studied about VI or VIP. That is basically an editor inside of your command line to edit something within our files. Amazing, guys. Okay. Uh, today, our aim is to, okay, uh, colon WQ to exit web. That's really great. Anything more, guys? Anything else that we studied in our yesterday's class? Anything else that we studied in our yesterday's class, guys? Git reset. We studied about Git reset. Good. CHMOD, we haven't studied it in our yesterday's class, Shivam Agrawal. Okay, LS minus A to see what are the hidden files that are present. Great, guys. Awesome. Okay, so this is all that we studied in our yesterday's class. Clear. We studied about a clear command as well. Good. So today we will be studying about how to go into the past. Okay. How to time travel, basically. That is what you're doing. Nowadays, every single movie is about time travel itself. Whether it be an Avengers movie or a DC movie or something like that, 
it's all about time travel so it's time that as a developer we start traveling back in time right so that is what we will be seeing in our today's class we'll also be learning about branches how to create branches how to merge branches what is the importance of branches right over there and inside of devops where does this concept of branches actually link to okay that is also an important concept to understand so all this different things we are going to study in our today's class guys it is going to be super important for us now the one of the first questions that I, i thought somebody will be asking me this but either you guys are very intelligent or you didn't care about that uh, but one of the question that i thought somebody will be asking me is why are we learning git like i am able to understand that this is something that we should know this is required by companies every company is using git but why are we learning it right now so basically what my suggestion to you would be whenever you are going for an interview whether it be for an internship or whether it be for a particular job role itself you should have one major project under your belt at least one usually i will suggest people who like to go into data science that is machine learning artificial intelligence uh data engineering data science and these are the kind of fields that you are interested in okay then that will be you should have at least 5 to 6 major projects under your belt if you want to get into full stack development that is front end development back end development devops cloud computing or something like that then you should have at least one to two major projects under your belt okay now these major projects should showcase all your skill sets in that particular project itself always do remember this guys See, creating small, 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 small project is for you to understand your knowledge, increase your knowledge itself. Okay, for example, if I want to get into full stack development, then my major project will be a full stack clone of a very popular website. Let's assume Zomato clone. Okay, the front end, the back end, deploying it on AWS, orchestrating it using DevOps. Okay, so all that I should be including it right with it. and that is where you should showcase your skill set of git as well then how did you manage all that all the feature addition and everything you created branches you merged branches there should be commits on your git a profile all that should be there on your github profile like it should showcase that you also understand git to a very good extent and that is how you impress your interviewer that this is a particular person who is a one man army not just that if i'm asking you questions inside of interviews you should be able to answer them of course they are directly going to ask you questions related to git that okay what is git log okay how do you make a branch how do you change a branch what is checkout okay all this will be asked to you and you should know its answers but to practically showcase your skill set of git have at least one major project under your belt before applying for internship or before applying for job interviews itself which showcases a practical implementation of this inside of your project as well guys that is how you will stand out from the rest of the crowd are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this guys please let me know this is a very important thing guys because i am able to see many students making this mistake that their final project is a shitty ass uh, website or a very bad uh, back end project itself then that, that is not going to make any uh, effect on your interviewer millions of people are making the same project how are you starting out from the ground similar to that i see people applying so i am also an interviewer if you guys don't know for the past 3 years i have taken up interviews for more than 15 different companies and uh, i have taken up i think so more than 500 interviews up till this point of time in both data science artificial intelligence machine learning all these aspects as well as in full stack aspects as well so i have taken up interviews for uh, microsoft amazon and many other companies as well so whenever i'm being up interviews i it's a very common point that i see the same project under everybody now how is that going to help a student out like that? i'm not going to select them because i saw the same project there's no difference in your project then i'm just going to go over to the type of ask question that you are able to answer many of the students don't even get selected for an interview itself so you should have good projects under your belt guys that will be my suggestion to you okay so let's start our today's class guys without wasting any time further let me open up a uh, repellent and i will share my screen as well with you guys let me share my screen okay 
today i don't uh, sir today's market due to the advancement of ai urdu service survive in the next 5 years or will be replaced by ai so you are asking about jobs that are jobs going to be replaced by ai then uh, did the calculators replace mathematicians that will be my simple question ai is just a tool to help you organize your work to help you do your work much more faster that's it that is the only use of ai ai is not going to replace a developer at any particular point of time at least in our uh, generation it is not going to do that okay so let us open up uh, ripplet right now let's log into the platform we will use the same ripplet from yesterday itself oblong bossy if you guys remember our project is right over here we will cd into our project uh and we'll do git status okay nothing on master branch blah 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 okay so now the first thing that we are going to see is our git log okay git log this showcases all the different commits that we have done up till this point of time are you guys able to see that please let me know are you guys able to see this we deleted this file for good Added animal names in first dot txt. We added first dot txt right over here. Now I want to change. So this head, are you guys able to see this head? Are you guys able to see this head, guys? This head basically points out to where are you currently located inside of the uh, tree. Okay, you are having this command, uh, this commits, right? All these commits are there right over here, right? So head basically points out. to which particular commit are you currently located at so i am currently located at the master branch okay this is the master commit that i am having right now this is where i am currently situated at i want to go to this particular commit right now i want to change my commit i want to go into the time when i have just added animal names right over there i hadn't deleted the file let us see let if you go ls right over here As, okay, I again went back into the other paragraph. So CD project, and let's do LS right over here. As you can see, there is nothing right now inside of our folder. Let's clear it out. Let's clear it out. Let's do LS. As you can see, project is completely empty right now. I want to go back to the time before deleting. Before deleting the file, there was a file called as first dot txt. I deleted it and then I committed it. and the reason why there is nothing present right over here i want to go back in time so if i do git log i am able to see that i want to go back to this particular commit guys where i had it still deleted that file are you guys able to understand now to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this particular commit okay this hash code this hash code that you are able to see that uniquely identifies that particular commit i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to write my code git check out git check out and then i'm going to paste that particular uh, code itself so this will take me to that particular instance so that particular time i'm traveling back in time guys here i'm traveling back in time to time wherein i still had a commit <coughs> cd project i need to do get check out once again then i'll paste the particular thing enter so as you be able to see right now if i do get log i'm that my head right now is currently present at the second commit where i had added the animal names in first dot txt are you guys able to see my head where am i currently present at where am i currently present at inside of the git log itself as you are able to see i am currently present at the animal names added in first dot txt that is where i am currently present at that is being denoted by this head and at what particular commit am i currently present at if i do ls right now as you are able to see we are able to see the first dot txt file we are able to see the first dot txt file right over there guys we can also do a cat to see what is there cat first dot txt and we are able to see all the animal names inside of it we haven't still deleted it 
okay that is why we have traveled back in time guys as you able to see we have traveled back in time if i want to go back if i want to go back to the version wherein i had deleted the first dot txt if i want to go back to the version wherein i had deleted first dot txt again i will do git checkout and then master so master m a s t e r master so the term master basically identifies the latest commit the first commit wherein i deleted that was the, like the latest commit that was there right where i deleted first dot txt so master basically identifies that particular commit itself you don't have to copy the commit uh, co like the code for the that will commit you can directly just write master and it will take you to that particular head so head will now translate and if i do get log once again as you able to see again my head is currently present at the master branch and if i do ls right over here it's completely empty are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this guys please let me know how to travel back in time what is master what is head what is git checkout are you guys able to understand these three commands guys please let me know git log we have already studied it yesterday so there's no point of revising it and if you have not understood it tell me exactly what you have not understood don't say repeat or something i don't even know what is the meaning of the term repeat it is just not there in my dictionary okay so if you are not able to understand exactly right what you are not able to understand if you are late in the class and that is the reason why you are not able to understand that and that is not my fault okay you just have to be on time to understand it but exactly what you have not understood you will have to tell me that if you are writing please repeat i will just ignore your command okay i will just ignore your comment but if you are able to explain to me what you are not able to understand i will help you out with that okay about head and master so head is basically telling you at which particular commit you are currently present at okay so the latest commit the latest commit in your tree in your git log is called as the master commit that is where you are currently like the current timeline the present of uh, that is there that is your master that is called as your master now why is my name shorya i don't know my grandfather named me he thought i was brave but i was not i'm still afraid of spiders and cockroaches but yeah my name was shot in a similar manner the latest commit that was there that is called as the master commit okay the head basically points out to you as a person you as a time traveler where are you currently present at so i'm present at the master so head is currently present at the master position okay that means i'm currently present at the present itself If I want to go back in time, I will use git checkout to go back in time itself. Once I go back in time, if I am present right over here, then head will point it out to right. You will see head written right over here, just like we have previously seen it. Okay, that is so. Head is basically your time traveling machine. Okay, the machine travels back to a particular instance which you had saved, and that is how it is happening right over there. Okay, so I hope so that makes you understand the concept a bit better. Okay, the next thing that we are going to see is uh, how all this happens inside of a company. Okay, so a company does not do all this kind of crap. Okay, being very frank with you guys, <coughs> very sorry. Difference between uh, get checkout and reset. So checkout is not uh, like permanent. I can go back in time. I can come back to the present as well. Get reset will reset your present to a particular past. So it will take you via time machine to your past and will leave you right over there. You cannot come back to the present. Okay, that is the difference between get checkout and get uh, reset. Reset resets your present to your past. Okay, you it takes you back to a particular commit and leaves you right over there. You cannot come back to the present itself. that is the reason why we usually don't use the reset i just told you guys about that because of just information purpose you usually will be using get checkout itself i need to start the ac guys give me a second it's way too hot in this room uh, give me a second guys mm -hmm. i'm having a little bit of uh, fever as well but uh, yeah it's way too hot in this room i need a little bit of uh, air 
I just switched on the AC. Now my head will be uh, totally gone by tomorrow. Okay, so right over here, let us delete it. Okay, so now in the company has a lot of different developers. Okay, please try to understand this. It has a lot of different developers. Now there is a particular. Let's assume we are building a. Uh, we are we are currently present in Hotstar. How many of you guys have used Hotstar? How many of you guys have used Hotstar, guys? Disney Plus Hotstar. See, Marvel fans would be using Hotstar. If you haven't seen Loki season two, bro. Come on, man. That was an excellent TV series itself. So I think so. Everybody would be using Disney Plus Hotstar, right? And if you are not, start watching Marvel movies. Not the latest ones. Yeah, even I was a little bit disappointed in them. Maybe the old ones. That was really good. I want to do a Harry Potter rerun and a Marvel rerun someday, but I'm not getting the time to do that. Okay. So let's assume uh, we are working on Disney Plus Hotstar. Okay. So this is our oh shit that was a very bad line. Let let me draw a better line than that. Let's assume this is our particular main main master branch. We will call this as the master branch. This is the branch that users are accessing. So this is basically code on this particular branch. Your code is there. Okay, this is the timeline of your code. Okay, so as the code progresses, this is the timeline. Okay, so this is the present. This is the present. This is the future. Okay, this is the future, guys. This is where your code. This is the present code, and in the future there will be some code right over there. This is the code that your users will be using. Okay, when you are logging into your Hotstar account, when you are logging into your Disney Plus app itself. And this is the code that you are actually accessing. Okay, now let's uh, now if you are making changes directly on this, if three thousand developers are sitting and making changes directly on this particular code itself, and every second some developer is making some changes, it is developing some files, it is uh, like deleting some files, it is adding some new code inside of it. Your user will your app will never work. Please try to understand this. If you are continuously changing, even if one line of code is changed. your app will not be working properly you have to make sure that the app is working properly and then you give to your users so if any developer is directly making these changes it will not work properly this is also referred to as the production line okay or the production branch itself or the prod p r o d or production or just be referred to it as the prod branch itself okay that is the technical term for that now what What happens in the company is they will create another branch from the present code. They will create another branch and will call it as the dev branch. Okay, I'll just use some other colors that it is a little bit more easier for you guys to see. I uh, will use this particular color. It looks nice. Uh, let's use a blue color, dark blue, light blue. This color should be fine. So use this particular color. This is what we refer to as the dev branch, guys. This will be the dev branch. Uh, and there are multiple branches. There will be a testing branch as well in the middle. Then, so here there will be a testing branch, but we are not concerned with that. We are just layering our company into two halves. Okay, production and the dev branch. This is where all the development happens. Okay, all your code addition, code deletion, blah 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 will happen. Inside of this particular branch itself, you are not going to touch the production, guys. We are not going to touch the production branch at any particular point of time. Now, I am a particular developer. Now, if you have used uh, Disney Plus Hotstar, you must have seen that there is no playback speed. I cannot change the speed of the video. But I have only have to watch it in one X. Now, if my I, I have to go for office in the next ten minutes, there's a twenty minutes episode that I have to watch. If there was a two x speed right over there, I could have finished that in ten minutes and go to the office. But it is not there. So I, as a developer working in Disney Plus Hotstar, have been assigned the task to create a new feature that is to like playback speed. That is the name of the feature. I have to add playback speed to the videos inside of Hotstar. So what I will be doing is I will be creating another branch somewhere here on the timeline. 
I'll be creating another branch from here. Let let us be put up a separate thing. Let me use a separate color. Let us use the red color. I'll create another branch right over here, guys. This particular branch. This is my branch. This is where I am going to make changes. Okay, this is Shorya cross playback. This is that who is making these changes? Who is the developer? And what feature is he adding to this particular code? Are you guys able to understand this? Who is making those changes? What feature is he adding right over there? That is what is being specified. I will take some time to develop that feature. Once that feature has been developed, once I feel confident that the feature has been developed, then I am going to and I test it out as well. That everything is working fine with the code. There is no issues with the code itself. The app is working fine. Then I am going to merge it with the dev branch. So from here, from this particular time forward itself, there is a new code. The code changes. This was the old code, guys. This entire thing was the old code. This is the new code itself. Inside of this, we are having the playback speed also present right over there. Now, somebody will test it out. Of course, it is not directly going to the user. We have to test if everything is working fine or not. There's a separate entire team dedicated for just testing things out. That is all the code working fine or not. Is there any kind of problems? And again, we'll create a new branch. We'll make sure that the feature is revised. Once the testing is completed, let's assume that the testing is completed. Then right over here, then I will merge it with the main code. This was the old code again. From here, the users will be able to get the new code with the playback speed. That is how branches are made and utilized. As soon as, as I merge this particular branch, as you're able to see in the timeline, there is no branch. There's no Shorya comma uh, playback speed anymore. There's no Shorya comma playback speed anymore, guys. Why? Because that utilization of that branch has ended. That feature has ended. If Shorya gets assigned another property that, okay, inside of this, you have to add auto captions or to skip intro button itself. Then I will have to create another feature, another branch. Then I will have to make those changes. I have to merge it. So the process of this branch being merged into the dev branch is called as merging. Okay. This, this, this. Addition is called as merging, guys. Merging. We are merging the two branches to create one single timeline. Are you guys able? So this is what will happen in the Avengers Secret Wars as well. If you guys don't know, all the timelines will be merged together into one single timeline. Okay. So up till now, we were just like deleting the timelines and keeping some of them together itself. We were not merging it. In Secret Boss, all the timelines will be merged together to form one single timeline. If you guys don't know, and those who are not into Marvel, uh, they, they will be like, hey, okay, what are you saying? But no issues in that. So that is what the concept of branching is. In every single company, this is how things will be happening for you as well. Okay. So in this particular class, we'll see how to create the dev branch, how to create the Shorya slash maybe some other feature that will be adding. How to merge different branches together, all that we'll be seeing right now. Are you able to understand a little bit of intuition about this, guys? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand a little bit of intuition about what are branches and what is merging and why is it required right over there? A little bit of intuition. Exactly, Sumo, that is absolutely right. Okay, great. So let us try to understand this uh, from our perspective of code. Okay, this was just an intuition right over there. We'll have to do it uh, while coding as well. <laughs> okay, so let us uh, clear this up. So we can check what are the different branches that are currently present inside of Git by writing Git branch. I think Git branch, as we're able to see, we are only having one branch right now called as the master branch. Usually this will be called as the master or the production branch itself uh, inside of a company. But here we are calling it as the master branch. We don't have any other branches right now. Let us go back in time. Uh, currently, if I do LS, as you're able to see, there is nothing uh, inside of our computers, right? There's nothing present inside of our computers, guys. 
So what we are going to do right now is we are going to shift from this particular commit to a previous commit itself. Okay. So to do that, what we need to do is git. Uh, okay. Check out. Okay. First, I will have to get the log, and then I have to copy this particular hash code. Copy, and then I'm going to have git check out. And uh, I'm going to check out at that particular location. Paste, enter. If I do get log right now, as you're able to see, we have shifted our head from the master that is the present to a past particular location that is this particular comment, guys. Here we'll be creating our new branch. We'll call it as the dev branch, guys. Okay, we'll call it as the dev branch right over here. So let's call create the dev branch right now. So create a branch. It's very simple. We just write git b r a n c h branch and then the name of the branch, guys. So we'll call it as the dev branch. Okay, we'll call it as the dev branch right over here. Now if I do a git branch again, as you're able to see, we are having two branches right now: the dev branch and the master branch. Our head is inside of the uh, this particular location right now. Okay, we are having two branches right now: the dev branch and the master branch right over here, guys. We want to shift to the dev branch. We want to go to the dev branch itself. To do that again, it is very simple. Get check out dev. Okay, then help us go to the dev branch. As you are able to see, switch to the branch dev. If we do get branch once again. As you can see, we are currently pros, uh, present inside the dev branch. Okay, we are currently present inside of the dev branch right over here. So let us do git log. As you can see, we have not yet deleted that inside of this branch. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. Yes, the production branch will change if you are uh, like merging inside of the project, uh, production branch. Okay. So as you're able to see, we have created a new branch called as the dev branch. We are currently present inside of the dev branch as well as we're able to see right over here and get log. Okay, get log. We are able to see that inside of the dev branch. Head is present inside the dev branch. The dev branch is having only two commits inside of it. Are you guys able to understand this? There are only two commits because first we went back into time and then we made all these changes right over there. Now let us let us do something. Let us uh, create our new branch itself. So uh, what is the process? I want to understand from you. If I want to create a new branch called as Shorya slash Plants, if I want to create this particular branch, guys, Shorya slash Plants, how can I create it? Can somebody let me know? I want to create a new branch called as Shorya slash Branch. What will be the process of creating that? Can somebody let me know? What will be the process of creating that guys? Can somebody let me know? Okay, get branch Shorya slash branch. So my spelling is very bad. Okay, get branch Shorya uh, slash branch. But then we have to write another line of code. That is get checkout and Shorya slash branch. Shorya slash plant. Why? Because Git branch just creates that branch. We get branch Shorya slash plants. We'll just create that branch. We want to go to that branch as well. Then we will have to write git checkout Shorya slash plant. Now that is two step process. We can actually do it in just one single command as well. Just we have to write clear git checkout. Have it still created the new branch? Have it still created the new branch? Git checkout hyphen b. And then the name of the branch that is uh, Shorya slash plants. So this particular command will create a new branch that is Shorya slash plants. It will create that for you and it will also take you to that particular branch. You will do both the steps all together. So uh, git branch Shorya slash plants just creates a branch. Git checkout Shorya slash plants will take you to that particular branch. And a merge of that two is basically this particular command. Get checkout hyphen b. That is, you are creating a branch and you are checking out to that particular branch as well. Okay. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. So if I do enter right over here, switch to a new branch, Shorya slash plants. If I see branch, okay, get 
branch as you're able to see we are currently present inside of shorya slash plants okay now we can make changes to our current thing let's create a new file to your uch touch i will call it as stcond second dot txt okay and uh, we'll do vi stcond second dot txt we'll add some plant names so i don't know any plant names i'm just going to add potato tomato right over here shit what did i do control c let me uh, re enter it potato tomato O and I is an onion, sun, O W R sunflower, lily. Okay, a few names I've added right over here. Let's save it. So, Control C again, guys, to exit Control C first, then colon W Q. If you guys don't remember it, okay. Uh, right over here. I've added so let's see cat second dot txt. So potato, tomato, onion, sunflower, lily, everything has been added right over there. Now let's assume I have finished up with uh, making my changes. All the features that I wanted to add, I have added it right over here. Now I want to merge it with my master branch. Are you guys able to understand this? Let's assume this was the feature that I wanted to add. Of course, this is not a very good example of a feature, guys. But let's assume that if that is not a huge problem, right? I want to merge it right over there, guys. I want to merge it right over there. Now, how to do that? First, we need to commit everything. We need to commit all our changes right over here, guys. So we do git status. We do git status right over here. As you're able to see, we are having an untracked file that is second.txt. Okay. Uh, we need to first add that. So git add dot. Okay. And then we need to commit it as well. So git your mmit commit hyphen m. And we are going to, oh shit, what did I do? Control C. Let us write it down once again. The message that we'll put in is added second dot txt with plant names okay we'll make this comment right over here author identity is unknown okay so because again we have made a new branch it is asking us that who are you okay tell us your name itself we'll again have to update our name right over there so let's do that get on let us just copy it why am i writing it again and again let's i can just copy it from right over here control c copy paste let's put up my email shorya dot sinha at a rate def down dot in and i have to put my username as well so that is also something that i have to do sinha name enter let us do our commit once again so we have made our commit right over there guys once the commit has been made then we'll switch back to our original brand that is the dev branch right over there because again we have to first merge our feature and first merge our feature with our dev branch right over here guys we have to first merge that okay we have to first merge that guys. So we'll go back, uh, git check out dev, uh, switch to branch dev and to clear. So as you're able to see, get branch as we are a present on dev, we need to merge our Shorya slash plants right over here. That is very simple guys. Just write get M E R G merge. And then the name of the branch you want to merge that is let, let us first check git log right over here git log as we're able to see we are having only these two logs right now we are having only these two logs right now now we'll merge it so git merge and we have to merge shorya 
slash p l a n t s plants that is what we want to merge right over there get merge and then the name of the branch you want to merge right over there guys as you're able to see it has merged it now if i do git log once again as you're able to see we are having another so this has been merged so dev and forest slash plants have been merged together guys and we are having added second dot txt with plant names that is the current commit that is the latest commit that i have made are you guys able to understand this please let me know do we have always have to enter our email and name every time uh, at every new branch of course yes because again a branch can be created by anybody right it can be me it can be you it can be some other person there are thousands of developers working in a company usually in a side of a company each branch that you are creating when you will be creating it it will have to be authorized as well so it will ask you for your password as well so it won't be possible for you to create a branch inside of my name and ruin my reputation inside of the company because you will have to know my password but here we don't have that feature because it's a public uh, git that we are using right over here okay so we have merged the two branches guys we'll again do the exact same thing with our uh, dev uh, with our master branch so can somebody let me know how to merge the dev branch with my master branch what particular command will i have to do right now what command will have i have to write right now to merge my dev branch with my master branch guys can somebody let me know i have told you how to do it inside of the shorter slash plants right i want you guys to tell me how to merge the dev branch with my master branch guys let me know what command should i write guys no ronak you are wrong aditya mishra you are wrong git check out master very good sumod very good first we are currently present if you see git a uh, branch we are currently present at our dev branch guys we need to go into our master branch first we need to go into our master branch so git check out master okay so that will take it to our master branch then you are going to merge okay then you are going to write git merg merge git merge and then your particular branch name that is dev uh, what happened let me get any error right over there for the editor to grow let's do that once again so please commit your changes okay you have not uh, concluded your merge merge head still exists let me check a uh, git status changes to be committed new files second files i'll have to commit those changes right now okay let me just check git branch okay i'm currently present at the master branch this is asking me to commit a new change right over there uh, changes to be committed let us commit that so git so mmit commit and we'll put up a hyphen m new file added jrou gs2 mrg merge with dev enter okay okay now i think so everything should be fine for the merge already up to date okay let us check that so let us check git log right now okay so as you are able to see right over here guys our shorya and plants uh, dev was already merged i don't know why it was showing us that message but it was already merged right over there after that i did another commit right over there i don't know why it just asked me to do it i just did that So right over here, as you can see, this is the point in timeline where we merged our Shorya slash plants and Dev into our master uh, timeline itself. This is where we merged it, 
and this is where we are currently present in our timeline this is where we are currently present in our timeline guys with the new new file added to merge with dev that is where we are currently present at are guys able to understand this please let me know so we had already merged it guys it was just showing us some message i don't know the reason why it was showing us after that i did another commit because it was asking me to do that so i did another commit and this is where we are currently present in in our timeline and this is where we merged this is the command where we merged all our branches together guys okay let us exit this okay no you don't have to put dev in double quotes okay whenever the name is too long or has spaces or something like that then you have to put it in double quotes otherwise not okay it's fine you can you cannot that's totally fine okay so that is how we merge so basically you just have to go back to the branch where you want to merge you have to write git merge and then the name of that uh, new branch that you want to merge that will just merge the two branches together and then then you can continue working on the same if i do ls right over here on our main branch as you able to see it has already deleted first.txt if you guys remember on our main branch first.txt was not present right over there it already had dele been deleted from right over there guys <laughs> and our second.txt file that was there from the dev branch got transferred over to the second.txt file guys are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this guys please do let me know okay great The next thing that we are going to explore a little bit further is our GitHub. So I ask every one of you to create your own GitHub accounts. If you have still not done it, please do make sure that you are doing it at some particular point of time. This is a random GitHub account that I have created just for fun. Okay, just for all these kind of purposes itself. GitHub is a very interesting place, guys. You can find a lot of different things right over there. For example, I want to see OpenAI. Let's search for OpenAI, guys. So, as you can see, this is the official, uh, like, profile of OpenAI on GitHub. Okay, this is official OpenAI. The people who have created uh, ChatGPT for you. Okay, this is the official particular version for them. So, you guys can go through that ChatGPT review plugins. Okay, ChatGPT, OpenAI Cookbook, OpenAI Node. interactive textbook demo web crawler examples all these are by your open ai profile itself so you can just go over multiple companies each company will have its own uh, profiles for example let's see a search for google okay let's search for google so this is the google uh, official profile of google on github uh, and actually you can actually contribute to code on uh, the google's profile as well There's a lot of different things. There will be Microsoft, Apple will also be there. You can just search for them right over here. You can search for Apple right over there, guys. A P P L E Apple. Search for them. So this is the official uh, GitHub account of Apple. Okay, a lot of different things are there right over here. You can go through their uh, code base. You can see if you want to make some changes. we can do that so let's go back to our original account itself so this is our profile okay this is our profile right over here uh, we will create a new particular repository you can just click on this play, uh, plus button okay to create a new repository right over there we'll name this repository as the same name as our current folder that we were using right over here so this is all done locally this is all done inside of our computer itself please do remember that This is all done inside of our computer itself, right over there. This is not on GitHub. We are using the Git technology to manage everything on our computer. The name of our repository, that is the name of our particular file, that is project. Project is the name of our repository itself. We'll make the same name right over there. Okay, so we'll go back. I will name it right over here, guys. Just move this up right over here. Here. Hello, and we'll name this as P R O J E C T project right over here, guys. We don't have to put any description or something, guys. Just plain as things. Okay, we'll create this repository right over here, and we'll forget about it for a few more seconds. Okay, uh, so we'll go back to our particular uh, thing that we were currently doing. I want to tell you guys about a few more things before moving further, guys. 
the first thing that i want you guys to know about is the git ignore file so sometimes what happens is for example you have some uh, private information that you don't want to make it public are you guys able to understand this sometimes there is some private information that you don't want to make public uh, for example you are having some passwords or some key to access your aws account or something like that you don't want that to be public at any particular point of time so you don't want to push it to a particular github so github is public okay anybody can watch your code anybody can see what you are currently doing right over there okay so let us create the so what if uh, let's create a file file so to you ch touch keys.txt okay that is a new file that we have created right over here maybe some there is some information right over there we don't really care about it we'll create another file to you ch touch dot git i g n o r e git ignore okay touch dot git ignore guys now whatever file name that you put inside of the dot git ignore git will automatically ignore it so if i'm checking it right now git status as you able to see it is showing us two particular files that is currently untracked it is showing us two separate files that are currently untracked that is the git ignore file that we created dot git ignore file and then the keys dot txt let us open up the dot git ignore file guys so vi dot Git i g n o r e git ignore. Okay, we'll change the name right over here. K e y s keys. Why is this not working? K e y s keys dot t x t. Okay, we are adding. So this is basically we have opened up dot git ignore. We are added keys dot t x t right over there. We'll exit it, and then uh, we are going to again do git uh, status. As you're able to see now, it is not tracking the keys dot t x t anymore. Right now, we are not tracking keys dot t x t anymore, guys. Are guys able to see this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to see this, guys? Please let me know. We are not. We once you add a name of a particular file instead of dot git ignore, you are not tracking it anymore. As you are able to see right over here, if I open up the particular git ignore file right over here, this is the git ignore file, guys. This is dot git ignore file. As you are able to see, it has keys dot txt. So GitHub is not tracking it anymore. We'll add its name as well. So dot git i g n o r e git ignore. We'll add that as well. We'll save it. So if we go back to shell, we redo our git status. What happened right over here? I think so. I have to open it up once again. Uh, where is shell? 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 CD project. And then git status. As you're able to see, git ignore is also being ignored by git. The dot git ignore file is also being ignored by git right now. It is showing us that there is nothing to track right now. Why? Because we have added its name to the git ignore file as well. That is the reason why. Now, when you don't need to commit them, basically it will just ignore them. And when you are pushing your local code to a git repository, you don't have to worry about that. Let us see how to do that. Now, all this code is currently present inside of our computer. It is not present on GitHub. Okay, GitHub is the particular platform where we want to send our code, guys. Please remember that. This is the platform where we want to send all our code, guys. Right now, all our code is currently present inside of our computer itself, locally. Now, to push our code inside of this remote repository that anybody can see, it already has pushed an existing repository from the command line. This is what we want to do. Push an existing repository from the command line. So we just have to copy the code, guys. Nothing else. Just copy this. 
again we'll go back we'll just paste it right over here enter okay git remote add origin blah 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 and then we'll again go back we'll copy the next particular line of code copy and we'll just paste it right over here paste enter and then we are going to patch up git push view origin main copy then go back paste enter uh, so invalid username or password fatal authentication for this so right now it is not like it is not authenticating me to github okay what is happening right now is that it is not authentic uh, authenticating me to github that is the problem that is happening now because we are using code sandbox this is the problem that you are facing right now i want you guys okay see the art of learning coding is not just about knowing things it is also about finding things as well i want you guys to reach up till here okay i want you guys to practice up till here and find me just google things up guys google is your best support google chat gpt whatever you want to use i want to find at least one person in tomorrow's class who is able to provide me with how can we solve this right over here if you are getting this particular problem how can we solve this let me give you a small hint just copy paste this inside of google it will directly give you an answer but i want you guys to do it i want you guys uh, i already know how to do it okay it's very simple i just need to go into git i need to get the api keys i need to put it up right over here i need to put my id and password i just need to connect it to git i know the entire answer right over there i want you guys to figure out how to do it like oh, just one of you as well if you are able to put this effort you will definitely be able to understand how to learn it is not about like okay watching a video and be like oh ho oh, now i know get that is not going to work okay you just have to do a simple task you just have to figure out how can we solve this why is it showing me that i have an invalid username or password why is that happening how can i change this the second particular thing that i want you guys to do is create your github account okay try everything that we have done in our today's class create your own branches make some changes merge branches right over there okay create the dot ignore file see what happens when you create a dot ignore file itself and so on and so forth are you guys able to understand this please let me know everybody create a github account guys tomorrow we will be completing github okay in half an hour it won't take because just this is what is remaining right now it won't take more than half an hour to complete this off then we will immediately start with devops okay that is docker <laughs> not devops docker from tomorrow onwards in the second half of the class we'll start with docker guys docker is a very important and a little bit more complicated than get whatever we have been doing up to this point of time actually we are going to stay inside the terminal itself so docker also lives inside of the terminal like most of the things docker compose docker volume we'll see how to create our own docker files how is it uh, useful for us and so on and so forth what is its utilization all that we are going to explore in our tomorrow's class uh, how to uh, start a bit of the server inside of docker okay all that we'll be seeing in our tomorrow's class guys it is a very 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 interesting topic docker i just want this last part see everything i've taught to you guys right everything instead of get whatever you guys need to know whatever you need to understand as a fresher i have already taught to you guys this is the last thing that is there if you be working on a normal computers this wouldn't have been problem because we'd have to log into the platform to actually use it but still we are using code sandbox i want you guys to understand what is the problem right over here how to link this to our main github account and how to manage everything right over there tomorrow i'll be showing it to you guys eventually even if you are not doing it i'll be letting you guys know the answer but i want you guys to figure it out on your own first okay so uh, that will be something that we'll be doing tomorrow one more thing guys uh, uh, like i know this is a little bit like uh, gopchi popchi it looks like we are going hacking something or uh, doing like that <laughs> whenever we are using terminal usually students are like sir what is this so we are hacking something or not so it's basic things itself um i know this is a little bit uh, not so interesting for many people <laughs> but uh, see if you want to grow in life if you want to get to somewhere even if you are not interested in something if you put your mind to it if you invest time to it you will eventually understand it i'm not saying that you are going to like it fucking imagine when i was in uh, 10 standard i was introduced to coding inside of my school i hated coding from that point forward to the point that i'm currently at even after working in so many companies 
and doing all these things i still don't like program being very frank with you i don't really like it initially i didn't even used to understand it i put my time i put the efforts to understand it at least but i still don't like it but if you want to earn good bucks if you want to earn good money if you want to have like a start of pressure instead of coding if he's learning coding properly itself will be getting a salary package of 26 36 40 lakhs as well a very what he lacks per annum that's a very good package a excellent package mba karne ke baad bhi itna nahi milta logo ko and just by completing bca or even graduation or even btech you are able to get such an amazing package it's worth investing the time in so don't feel like oh i don't like this what is this shit okay nobody likes it okay no child like one in a million person will be somebody that will be liking all this crap okay but companies are not going to hire just one person right they want almost 10 thousands of people so for that everybody has to learn it then companies are going to recruit them so even if you don't like it there's a huge opportunity there's a huge way of earning very good amount of money in less amount of time that we will be investing that is what i will be suggesting for you guys as well okay and uh, do try it out let me know if you guys are able to succeed at it don't worry about it even if you are not just try try to figure out the answer tell tomorrow i'll be telling you the answer so you don't have to worry about that it's not as if i'm going to like just leave you guys that okay find it i'm not going to tell you guys i'm going to tell you with the answer but still try to do it try to learn it theek hai that will be my suggestion to you guys now comes up to your attendance so i'll be sharing the attendance right now today the attendance will only be open for 5 minutes सर कुछ समझ नहीं आया सो उमर यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दी एंटायर वीडियो वंस इवन इफ यू मिस फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ द वीडियो इन द पास्ट थ्री डेज यू आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग इनसाइड ऑफ द क्लास बीइंग वेरी फ्रैंक विद यू गाइस इफ यू आर फीलिंग दैट यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग दैट मींस यू हैवेंट आफ्टर द क्लास यू हैवेंट प्रैक्टिस एनीथिंग विद इन द क्लास यू हैवेंट पेड अटेंशन प्रॉपर्ली इवन इफ यू आर जॉइनिंग फाइव मिनट्स लेट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग इन द क्लास आई एम बीइंग वेरी फ्रैंक विद यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग इन द क्लास देयर इज थ्री स्टेप प्रोसेस Come to the class on time. Pay attention inside of the class. After the class, practice everything that you have learned. That is how you are going to understand everything. Otherwise, it is just going to feel as if, like he, boy, he is talking in French or German or Italian or some ancient Indian language, uh, alien language itself. That is not going to happen for you guys. Okay. So I am providing you guys with the attendance form in the live chat. The attendance thing will be closed exactly at nine twenty two. So at 9:22 the attendance thing will be closed. Please start filling up your attendance right now. At exactly 9:22 the attendance thing will be closed. Please start filling up right now. I'm very afraid to artificial intelligence because it is going to replace us all programmers. If you feel that 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 means you don't even know what is artificial intelligence. That basically means you are watching a lot of Instagram and uh, YouTube videos and you're not studying right now. That is the only meaning of that. If you are afraid of AI, that means you don't know what is AI. you are just wasting a lot of time watching the reels i can just predict that i don't even need to know a lot about you i can just predict that a particular person i have been working in ai for the past 5 years let me tell you this that you don't have to be afraid of it you have to adopt it so if you're thinking that i'm going to learn python and get a job for that was not even happening before the existence of ai people who know python are not going to still get jobs right now as well you have to learn new technologies you have to be the best in the world they that you work and you have to use ai to help you do the menial tasks where you are faster that is what the aim of ai is to help you make things go faster that's it so if still afraid of ai that means you don't know what is ai and should stop watching a lot of reels and shit that would be my suggestion to you okay Okay, so right over here, guys. I provided you guys with the attendance thing. Please do fill up your attendance. In the next three minutes, the attendance thing will be closed. We'll meet in our tomorrow's class at the same time. And for many of you guys, you haven't uh, still subscribed to the channel. Okay, I have seen that almost eighty uh, percent of you haven't still subscribed. So if it's possible, do subscribe to the channel as well. It will take less than a minute. Do like the video. It really helps us a lot. It really motivates us a lot as well. and we'll meet in our tomorrow's class and we'll continue from right over there guys thank you so much guys thank you guys bye 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 bye